Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I have a really quick tip that I want to share with you. And this involves my Altenew Artist Markers. Um, the Artist Markers come in sets. They have sets A, B, C, D, E, and then they have a primary set. I have A, B, C, D, and E. I don't have the primary set because most of the primary colors are in the other sets. So, um, one of the things, I they come in a really nice box with this plastic container and um, I have them sitting on top of, this is my Totally Tiffany um, Pen Palace and this is the regular size Pen Palace. Um, I also have an extra large one and the extra large one fits all of my Altenew markers across the top. This one doesn't. So, um, for this one I have four sets on the top and then one set on the bottom and on the bottom if I tip this sideways one of the things I like about this is it has these um, drawers almost not really drawers but shelves but the shelves are removable so I removed the bottom two so I could get my markers in so I could get the other set of markers in the bottom and then I have all my other you know, Wink of Stella, journaling pens, I have my favorite um, black ink pads in my Versamark, and then I use the rest of this for uh, my clear block storage, so I really like it. Like, this is right by my side, I'm left-handed, so I have it on the left side of my desk. But one of the things about these Altenew Artist Markers is that they come in um, coordinated color families. So this is set E. This is the last set that I got. This is, I love this for, this is a perfect fall set. It's also a great set for doing drop shadows and making your cards look, making a single layer card look dimensional. So I really, this is my favorite set of all. And you'll see that it's got these four orange colors. They're Y, the Y colors and on the side of the marker it tells me exactly the name. This is Firebrick which coordinates with one of their stamp pads. So these four markers layer together beautifully. So if I want to do an orange flower or a pumpkin or something like that I will pull out these four markers because these are alcohol markers and I will use those and they blend beautifully and I can shade and then I have four greens that go beautifully and then I have four grays that go beautifully that I can also use for my um, I can also use those for drop shadows so this is really my favorite set to use and the other sets are like that too for example if you see set D you can see I've got some purpley reds going on, I've got some greenish blues going on, and then I've got some uh, different brown shades going on. So like they all coordinate. They, I go from a darkest to a lightest in these four sets, or in these four markers. So I really like it. That way I don't have to think about what colors to layer together because uh, if you have Copic markers, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to decide which ones you want to layer together. Altenew has kind of helped you along here and I like that. So I like that there are not 2,000 markers here. There are just um, five or six technically sets of 12 markers each, but it, you know, this is the price point of this is excellent and they are refillable and they do have replaceable nibs. They do have a brush end and a they have a brush end and they have a bullet end so they are really nice. Now one tip that I wanted to give you was I have a tendency to pull out a whole bunch of them and use them and I use the colors together and then I might want to add something to it from a different one or use a green from a different one and then before I know it my desk is completely covered in markers and then I have to figure out you know, I just sort them and go back through like which one is set B, which one is set C, because I want to keep them coordinated together. So what I've done is I've taken some old washi tape that I have not used. You have that in your stash too, I'm sure. And I use that washi tape 
and I put the washi tape on the side of the container. I've labeled this set C and then I put a piece of the washi tape on the marker. And I put it on the bullet end because I never use the bullet end. I rarely use the bullet end. Um, I mostly use the brush end, so I'm, you know, I don't hold it there, so that's much more convenient. So I used a different washi tape for each marker, and then in my swatch book, I put, because I have a swatch book with all of these, I put a little piece of that same coordinating tape next to my swatches for set E. So that has been really helpful. So when I end up crafting like mad all day long, at the end of the day, these go back into their sets very easily. I don't have to pull out my key and look at what goes with what and then spend a lot of time sorting them. I can do this very quickly. So that's my tool tip for the day. Thanks for watching. Stop on my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Make sure you give this video a like and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you get notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.